Hello, my name is Melody Yin and I'm a ninth grader from the Harker School. My research topic is on developing a multi-module machine learning system to identify clinically important traumatic brain injuries in children. TBIs or traumatic brain injuries are a major public health concern as each year there are around 69 million TBIs diagnosed in the world. Up to 90% of these cases have mild symptoms initially, but can develop into critical conditions and permanent and severe brain damage if left untreated. In current clinical processes, computerized tomography or CT scans are commonly used to identify CITVIs, but are costly and time consuming. CTs also lead to radiation exposure, a danger to children. To address these issues, my research topic objectives are to design and implement a multi-module machine learning system to improve ED clinical efficiency for pre-screening and CT diagnosis, integrate hybrid and deep learning architecture, and finally to identify key factors for children in two age groups. 10 years ago, publications focused mainly on traditional statistical models to predict CITBI, but more recently, machine learning has also become popular along with deep learning. Hybrid, mo hybrid models and hybrid methods are also used, consisting of multi-layered ne networks to enhance performance. And research has made significant process by creating generalizable diagnosis rules and also applying machine learning, with the best models reaching 99.5% sensitivity, 98.6% po positive predictive value, and 97.9% AUC ROC. However, there are still some research gaps. Not many studies use the decision-making ability of professionals, nor combine CT readings with symptoms. And although the prediction rules detect patients that are in need of a CT scan or have a CITBI, many end up taking unnecessary CT scans in the process. My research will be addressing these gaps by using physician input in my system, incorporating CT readings with, with symptoms to predict CITBI, and also improving system specificity. Current ED procedures for diagnosing MTBIs have eight main steps. Most TBI patients rely on CT scans as a primary diagnostic solution, with the average time to diagnosis reading, um, reaching six hours and the majority of time being spent in waiting rooms, despite this being a situation that necessitates timely intervention. I propose a multi-module machine learning system which can be inserted into various ED procedures to pre-screen patients, detect abnormalities on CTs, and also to predict CITBI. My system aims to avoid the overdependence on caregiver assessments, reduce average wait time, and the number of patients waiting to be diagnosed. My proposed system consists of three modules. The first pre-screens patients and determines if a patient needs a CT scan, which have health risks, especially for children, as I mentioned earlier. My goal is to increase specificity or the true negative rate. And in module two, I found the optimal model to diagnose a patient with CITBI after taking a CT scan. In module three, I assessed the feasibility of using deep learning to read CT images. My system will improve the CT decision-making process and also aid medical experts' decisions. The system's modules can also be implemented separately and connect to existing medical data for training. The data set that I used is PCARN, short for Pediatric Emergency Care Applied Research Network. It consists of children age 18 and under presenting within 24 hours of head trauma with, the, with Glasgow coma scales of 14 and up. PCARN is a reliable data source which has been used in previous work, allowing me to compare my results. This data set also has symptoms and CT data for each patient in the data set, which is suitable for my hybrid model. This diagram illustrates the data sets breakdown after cleaning, and it has 43,379 records and shows the overuse of CT scans that was mentioned earlier. Almost 37% of patients were recommended CT scans, but 92% of these patients had no findings. 95% weren't diagnosed with CITBI. Again, the goal of module one is to create a pre-screening process to determine if a patient needs a CT scan. I decided to break my data into two age groups based on previous work, under two years old and above two years old. I used three algorithms, logistic regression, gradient boosted descent, and random forest. 
and I used these because they have a strong performance in binary classification and previous work has used them with success. I also tried two output variables determining if the module worked better by predicting a CT finding or a CITBI risk. I tested six pairings and trained them each on all 78 clinical metrics from PCARN, and I used the best combination from that to test two additional input sets, which were using the top ranked clinical metrics or all 78 clinical metrics along with the doctor's assessment to see if feature ranking or, or expert prediction would improve results. Logistic regression trained on all 78 clinical metrics was the best performer. And in comparison to previous work, my model has higher specificity and positive predictive value. So it has fewer false positives or fewer patients taking unnecessary CT scans. However, my model had lower sensitivity and couldn't identify all patients at risk for a CITBI. Thus, I recommend a secondary screening by a physician for the patients with a negative result from the pre-screening process. I believe that my pre-screening module would help make faster decisions for the majority of MTBI patients who need CT scans without many false positives. For module two, I also tested the aforementioned algorithms. I tested two input sets, which were radiologist interpreted CT scans with and without meta, uh, me clinical metrics. Logistic regression and random force were the top performers with random force being slightly stronger for ages under two and logistic regression for over two. I found that using CT readings with clinical metrics performed the best. And I used Hale as a baseline because they use similar input features as mine. Hale did not use age groups, but I used two age groups in my work to be consistent with my pre-screening module. Module three is different as it utilizes deep learning and it validates using deep learning to identify abnormalities needing immediate attention on CT images, including intracranial hemorrhages, fractures, midline shifts, and mask effects. The data set CQ500 had 491 patients and over 190,000 CT slices. I found that a VGG16 model optimized using previous work um, trained on JPEG images had the best performance with an accuracy of 87%. In conclusion, I successfully designed and implemented a multi-module machine learning system to pre-screen patients, detect abnormalities, and predict CITBI among children with mild symptoms with high specificity. Module 1's specificity under and over 2 were 98.85% and 98.73% respectively, which is higher than previous work. Module 2 predicted for CITBI based on clinical metrics and radiologist interpreted CT scans reaching 99.21% and 99.48% specificities for ages over and under two. Module three finally confirmed the feasibility of using deep learning to detect abnormalities on CT scans, achieving an 86.56% accuracy and an AUC ROC of 83.79%. I hope to apply my system in the future to clinical trials and integrate it with ED procedures in order to improve system design and performance. I will also look to standardize data collection in the triage stage of my system. Thank you for listening.